Love you, little buddy. You're so cute. Keep chewing. Hey, piggy people. So today's video is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to explain to you guys what happened with Angus. And then in the second half, I'm going to share the clips that I had been gathering. Because I was going to make a video about what care I was giving him. So Angus, as you guys know, had an ulcer on his tongue that we went to the vet for. He was on Medicam and antibiotics. And the antibiotics seemed to really upset his tummy. So after a week, we did a recheck and his tongue was healed. So we took him off the antibiotics, but his stomach never got better. He started to have like really runny poops and it was just a mess. And I was doing probiotics, tons of feeding. And he never got back onto eating his hay well. He'd have a little bit of veggies, like he was being very picky. Uh, it was really tough trying to help him as best I could and then he started to become dehydrated so kept having to give him sub Q fluids and then syringe him extra water give him lots of veggies that he would eat that were full of water but it was like he could never keep the water or the hydration in uh, the last day I picked up Pedialyte to give him that and he was just getting worse and worse and he got more sub Q fluids, but like they'd be gone in seconds. So I really feel like his kidneys were shutting down. And then I chose to have him put to sleep because he was, uh, he was not good. And by the time we got there to put him to sleep, like he just looked like he had no fluids left in him at all. So obviously something internal was going wrong and it wasn't anything that we could help him with. I feel really bad that he's gone, but I'm at peace with it because he was suffering and there was nothing I could help him with. He was such a cute pig. If you guys remember, he's always been into trouble and he was so hyper and happy. Just the bubbliest little guy ever. I just loved him. So that leaves Autumn without a friend. So my plan is to try her with the trio. I'm going to give her a little bit of a time to adjust. She's kind of been able to slowly adjust to him not being around because when he wasn't feeling well, he wasn't out and about very much. So that's my plan. I would uh, intro them to the trio and then have their cage open up really large. Uh, she's been doing well today. I let Angus be in the cage overnight so that she had lots of time to understand that he passed. And she groomed him and tried to get in the snuggle sack that I had him in and she was nibbling at his feet so I think she realizes that he is passed on. Oh, it's been a lot of sad things lately but as I said like it's not like it's not that I'm okay with it but it was for the best like we tried what we could and he is gone. I was looking online, now it was kidney failure in dogs, because like, you can never find research on guinea pigs really, but like the, all the signs on there were basically what he had, it was ulcer in the mouth, um, diarrhea, weight loss, loss of appetite, whole pile of things that I was like, yeah, it really seems like that's what it was, like he could not retain his fluids, it was like they were leaving his body as fast as I could give them. So everybody else is doing well. Annabelle, you're supposed to go in the bed. She loves to sleep on the heat mat and then have a bed on top of her versus going in the bed. She's so goofy. That one was a nice cozy one if you went inside. The other two are in the back corner. I catch uh, Busby sleeping right with the ladies all the time. So cute. And then the herd, here's Miss Delvey, we got Ray, and we got Baby Pig, uh, I think Huffy's in the corner there by Baby Pig, and then we have Racy Bear, hi Racy, let's see if we can zoom in for Baby Pig, <laughs> look at that little sweetheart, there's Hucky, right on the left. Oh, Lori. So I will share clips of 
Ingus now. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!